What's happening everyone? My name is Alex and welcome back. For this camera comparison, we have the brand new Pixel 8 and of course the Samsung Galaxy S23. So we're starting this video by recording with the front-facing cameras on both devices. Both devices can do 4K at 60 frames per second with that front-facing camera, but for this recording I'm doing 4K at 30 frames per second. So I'm going to walk a bit faster just so you can see how both cameras perform for video stabilization whenever you are walking. I can also run for a bit and I'm gonna stop somewhere around here. So this is how the front facing cameras on the Pixel 8 and of course the Samsung Galaxy S23 would record video. I think we're gonna start by checking out some daytime pictures and we'll move on from there. Alright, and we are taking a quick look at the pictures taken with the main cameras on both devices and of course daytime on pictures. So all the pictures that you are seeing are taken on auto mode. Now for colors, I have to say that I do prefer all the colors from the pictures taken by the Pixel 8. The Samsung Galaxy S23 does seem to oversaturate certain colors. Of course, it makes the pictures look more Instagram ready, I'm gonna say, but in comparison, the pictures taken by the Pixel 8 do look a bit more natural, at least in my opinion and the way I like my pictures. As for dynamic range, well it seems that the Samsung Galaxy S23 does slightly better for that um, for certain of those um, pictures. Not for all of them but for most of them I'm gonna say. So for colors I do prefer the colors from the Pixel 8 but I do kind of like the brightness and the better dynamic range that we get um, from the pictures taken by the Samsung Galaxy S23. Which ones do you guys prefer for those um, daytime pictures to the main cameras? Definitely leave a comment and let me know your thoughts. Moving on to some zoom pictures, well here it's not really that fair because on the back of the S23 we do have a telephoto lens, we don't have a telephoto lens on the back of um, the Pixel 8. So of course the more you zoom the bigger the difference um, you will notice. So for zoom pictures I feel that um, the Samsung Galaxy S23 will do better no matter what. Moving on to some portrait mode pictures, well for portrait mode pictures I do prefer the colors that we get in those pictures from um, the Pixel 8. It does seem that it um, retains the original colors better. The Samsung Galaxy S23 does change the color of faces um, quite a bit. So my face was never that red as it shows up in those um, pictures. However, for the edge detection around the subject, I feel that the Samsung Galaxy S23 does better than the Pixel 8. So I can't really say that one is so much better than the other one because one does certain things better, the other one does certain things better um, for those portrait mode pictures. So definitely leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts about those um, portrait mode pictures. As for the ultra wide pictures taken during the day, well the same kind of applies as for that main camera. So the pictures from the S23 do seem to be a bit um, brighter I'm gonna say. So that also makes it look like the dynamic range in those pictures is um, a bit better. Overall I can't really say that one is so much better than the other one. And I kind of prefer some of those pictures that I took with the Pixel 8 for that um, ultra wide camera. So fairly similar ultra wide cameras for picture quality I'm gonna say. Next we are moving on to some pictures that I took at night with both devices and of course I did use the night modes on both devices and we are starting with the pictures taken by the main cameras on both devices. Now looking at these pictures, well first of all I do prefer the colors that we get from the Pixel 8. The colors do look like the colors that I was actually seeing with my own eyes. The pictures from the Samsung Galaxy S23 do look a bit more towards um, yellow and of course in some situations those pictures could maybe look a bit better but I do prefer all the colors that we get um, from um, the Pixel 8. Now looking at the picture sharpness, once again it seems that the Pixel 8 does better in pretty much every single picture taken with that main camera than the Samsung Galaxy S23. So the pictures are definitely sharper from that Pixel 8, which is kind of unexpected. I wasn't actually expecting that because last year with the Pixel 7, well, I was a bit disappointed by those nighttime pictures. But that doesn't seem to be the case this year for the main camera and of course that night sight mode and the night mode for the S23. 
So for main camera, I do prefer the pictures from the Pixelit. What, um, what do you guys think about those nighttime pictures? As for the ultra wide camera and the night mode, well, here it seems that the Samsung Galaxy S23 seems to do a bit better in darker situations. So wherever it's um, darker, you don't have enough light, the Samsung Galaxy S23 does better, the pictures are a bit sharper, but as soon as you have some street lights, um, the Pixelit also does pretty good. So overall, I don't actually use any of these phones for those nighttime pictures for the ultra wide camera, but at least you can kind of take some pictures, but I don't think either of them looks that great for that ultra wide camera. Next, we're gonna move on and check out some sample video recordings that I've done during the day and of course at night with the Pixel 8 and of course um, the Samsung Galaxy S23. So we're gonna start to the daytime video recordings and then we'll move on and check out some nighttime video recordings. So let's check those out and I will be right back. All right, we are moving on to a quick video done with the main cameras on the back of the Pixel 8 and of course the Samsung Galaxy S23 recorded in 4K at 30 frames per second. Both devices can also do 4K at 60 frames per second and the Samsung Galaxy S23 can also record in 8K with that um, rear camera. However, we are not going to be recording in 8K for this um, video. We have Laura right here. Hi, Laura. And um, we'll walk this way. I'm also going to walk a bit faster just so you can see how that video stabilization um, works on both devices. From what I'm seeing on the screen here, it does work really well um, on both of them. And I guess I can also run for um, a little bit just so you can see how that works. All right, so this is how both devices would record the... Uh, with the main cameras and in 4K at 30 frames per second. All right, and next we are moving on to a quick video done with the ultra wide cameras on the back of both devices. For this recording, I'm doing 4K at 30 frames per second with the, both devices. We have a combination of sunshine and shade, as you can see for yourself. I'm gonna stop here for a bit. We're gonna pan right slowly. And back left. And I'm also going to walk a bit faster, just so you can see how that video stabilization uh, does. And we're going to turn around, I guess. And we'll walk back uh, towards Laura and uh, the motorcycle. So this is how a recording done with the ultra-wide cameras on the back of these two devices. Uh, would look like if you're recording in 4K at 30 frames per second. And we are moving on to a quick video with the main cameras done in 4K at 60 frames per second. Once again, we do have um, a combination of sunshine and shade. I'm walking, um, as you can see for yourself, so we're going to be able to see how both cameras um, do for video stabilization while walking. I'm also going to start running for just uh, a bit. We're going to stop somewhere around here. I'm going to pan down slowly and turn around. So 4K at 60 frames per second with the main cameras on the back of the Pixel 8 and of course um, the Samsung Galaxy S23. All right, and we're moving on to a quick video in low light between the Samsung Galaxy S23 and of course the Pixel 8. So it is a bit uh, dark around here, but we're going to walk towards uh, the light basically. Let me just stop here for um, a bit. It's also fairly dark um, around here. Now looking at the screens here, um, the image does seem a bit brighter um, on the screen of the S23. However, it also looks noisier. I'll have to see how this footage also looks on the computer as well. So if we walk this way, a car is just passing by. And I guess um, I can stop here for a bit to pan right slowly. So this was uh, done with the main cameras on the back of two, both devices, basically. And then if we pan towards uh, the darkness again. So yeah, this is how a recording in low light between the Pixel 8 and of course um, the Samsung Galaxy S23 would look like. 
and we are moving on to our next um, recording in low light for this recording i'm using the ultra wide cameras on the back of the two devices and once again recording in 4k at 30 frames per second so we do have some street lights um, around here neither device is doing that great um, with those um, ultra wide cameras and here it gets quite dark i can't actually see much um, on the screen of either device so we'll just walk up these stairs here unfortunately i don't think you can actually see them and from the top here i guess we'll pan left so now you should be able to see a bit um, more so yeah, this is how a recording in um, 4K 30 frames per second with the ultra wide cameras would look like. So what do you guys think about those sample video recordings? For me, for daytime recordings, the Samsung Galaxy S23 does better. The videos do seem slightly sharper, not to mention the video stabilization is much better. Whenever you're running, uh, whenever you're walking, the Pixel 8 does um, seem to have the video becoming a bit like jello, I'm gonna say. So I was not a fan of that. As for nighttime recordings, well, the Pixel 8 does lower the frame rate to make that image a bit brighter, but the video doesn't look that great um, for that uh, reason and when that um, happens, of course. So overall, I feel that for video for daytime and nighttime, the Samsung Galaxy S23 does better than the Pixel 8. But what do you guys um, think? Definitely leave a comment and uh, let me know your thoughts. Next, we are moving on to checking out some um, sample selfies. Well, for daytime selfies, I kind of prefer the pictures that I took with the Pixel 8. I feel that uh, it kind of retains the original image. The Samsung Galaxy S23 does seem to make me look way younger um, in those pictures. So I feel that the Pixel 8 will do better for those um, daytime selfies. Well, that's debatable, of course. As for nighttime selfies, well, um, it seems that the Samsung Galaxy S23 will do better. So there you have it, the Pixel 8 and the Samsung Galaxy S23. Was the Pixel 8 as good as you're expecting or you're expecting better? Definitely leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.